All right, folks, today we're making garlic sesame noodles, right? So I want to show you one thing. We got to start off with the noodles. So listen, this recipe is done so quick, so I want you guys to come here and check this out. Now, the reason I brought you guys inside of here into the, my pantry is because I want to show you. We can do them all different ways. I don't know, some of you guys might save, you know, some of these and keep them as decor decorative, uh, you know, displays. This right here is a regular spaghetti noodle. Now, we can use this or this angel hair pasta or this. You guys might want to do this because everybody loved that ramen, right? So you got Chinese ramen, angel hair, and regular standard size spaghetti noodle. I'm going to be using, like I said, the standard size spaghetti noodle. I'm going to drop these in here. And then for everybody that's out here, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, what I'm going to say. Usually I break them. I know some of you guys say don't do that. So we'll put them in right there. I already added salt to it. We'll let them just heat up, work their way down into the water. We're going to cook these for nine to 10 minutes and we're going to do them al dente style. All right, so now that we got our noodles going, look, this right here cooks super fast. Now, I'm using my A-series, you know, seasoning right here. I'm just going to put just a little bit of seasoning on here, right? Because we're going to let that absorb into the flesh. All right, so I'll stick that in there like that. I'm going to come here, put a little pepper on here. All right, just a small pinch of, you know, salt. Then you want to get in there with your hand. Now this part right here is completely optional. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick and just show you guys what you come up with at the end. So we're doing the garlic noodles, but we're gonna add a little bit of this fleshy shrimp to it. And that's gonna be a level up folks. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do these. And these are gonna be done real quick, right? So I'll put a little bit of olive oil in here. This is a uh, scallion infused, you know, extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this butter in here, right? That olive oil gonna protect it. Soon as I get everything melted, Right, as soon as we get everything melted, we're gonna go ahead and put that shrimp in here. Now, once you got everything, you know, melted, just go ahead and drop this in just like you see, right? You have those. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna make sure all of it is flat. Butter and shrimp makes everything right, folks. So we just let this cook a couple minutes on one side. Now what I wanna do is I wanna start adding just a little bit of this in here. All right, we'll just add a little soy to it. All right, so just want to mix all of that together. You just want those flavors in there, right? So I'm gonna grab myself a set of tongs. And then what we do is we just turn them over, right? We only need a couple of minutes on each side, that's it. As you guys can see, we got no sticking. And like I said, on a medium flame, you only need to go about two minutes on each side, that's it. We do not want to overcook it. I just turned off my fire. Now I'm gonna get my bowl. We're gonna take these out. And I think now is the time to go ahead and remove our noodles because we want them to be al dente. All right, so we take these and we pour everything. You want to get all of that butter, all that scallion, you know, version of olive oil and all of that. You want to get it and that's what you want to have is when we introduce it to the noodles we want to add everything back to it now let's go ahead and let's talk about me practicing what i preach for those of you guys who watch previous videos i always talk about measuring out your ingredients and having them all set up like i do now i just have my green onion right here just representing this right here is what I need to make my sauce, right? So for me to do it, I'm gonna grab this. This is my brown sugar. We just go ahead and get that in there. And don't forget, always have your uh, soapy hot water next to you. All right, let's see. Now you just wanna add all of the ingredients that you set aside. And then don't forget the full ingredient list is on my website, which is now printable, folks. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So now we come with that soy, right? We just let that soak just for a minute. And then listen, I'm using a small spatula. Only reason being, I like to get everything. If you take the time to measure, you know what I mean? Uh, this way you have that success. Let's get all of our ingredients in there and not have no residue in here. Now I have fresh ginger, right? So now we just wanna go ahead and just grate. After I got my sauce made, I said I was gonna use my whisk, but this right here do just fine. This is where we're gonna get that flavor from, right? Now I'm gonna set that off to the side. Now I'm getting ready to come over here and set this back 
set my temperature on the bottom. We're gonna go with a medium flame. We're gonna build up a little bit more heat, right? So I'm gonna take these two because these are what ne what's next, right? So this would be for my garnish, and this right here is gonna be for my garnish too. So I'll bring these into play right now. This is a very very simple and fast dish to make. You just got so many possibilities of what you can do. As you see, I'm adding shrimp. Talk to me, folks. We can add whatever you want to, and it's versatile by using whatever type of noodle you would like. Now we're gonna add our sesame oil to it, right? So let me go ahead and get my spatula. And remember, we got a little fine left in there from doing the uh, from doing our shrimp. All this gonna come into play, folks. All right? All right. So once you get it in there, you get your garlic in there, right? You want to just move this around for about, uh, you don't want to go too long. I'm just going to say about 25 seconds, 30 seconds max. You'll know that heat right now is getting that just right. Oh, yeah. And if you feel like it's getting too hot, you can push it over there to the edge. You just don't want to burn it. Now, you remember the sauce we made with the ginger? All right. Super easy, huh? You guys looking for something, especially you guys in school? You know what I mean? You're looking for something to make that's super easy. You know, big on flavor. Look at this right here, folks. All right, you see that right there? That's what you wanna see. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn off my fire right now. Right, and now I'm going to introduce, remember I only made eight ounces of, uh, of noodle. Right, so this shouldn't be too much. If you guys wanna double this recipe, if you feed in the dorm, or you know you wanna make something and just have it so that you can have it at the ready. Here you go. Right? Now as I move this around like this and it's absorbing all of that sauce down there in the bottom. You remember this? Hello. Let's go ahead and introduce that. Remember all the drippings and everything that came with it, that buttery goodness? Yes, sir. Then you want to take a little sesame seed, you know, sprinkle this in here throughout. We're going to use that for garnish also. You know what I mean? But we just run this just like you see. Now listen, you guys let me know down in the comment section below if you like little, you know, to see more quick, fast recipes like this. This is like a, in 20 minutes, this whole thing is really done, you know what I mean? So if you do everything right. Anyway, listen, I'm not finna ramble. Don't forget, it's on my website, smokingandgrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. This is a lot right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and devour this. Cheers, y'all. Huh. This is good right here. I would love to see what you guys do. You know, and make it on your own. If you're on IG, use the hashtag SNG with AB, and that's W I T A B. I'd love to see what you guys do to this. I know y'all gonna start off saying with the chicken, but please type, let me read, and we move on. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking. I'm gonna let you guys look at this one more time, and I'm out. Peace.